So in this video we're going to look at how you take mid control as terrorists on cash. Um, I feel mid control on cash is so important since you're able to split sites really easily. When you get mid control just pushing up highway there's not too much resistance there. Uh, being able to burst through the vent and even be able to push CT if you get the chance pushing through Z connector. And it also allows for really powerful lurks um, to prevent retakes from coming in from say highway towards A or towards the vent area if you're planting on B. So the first way we're going to look at how you take mid control is through like a sort of a rush, sort of a quick way at the start of a round. So I'm sure a lot of you know the smoke where you're in T-spawn and you just run through and it lands in the connector. So you just aim here, reach the end of the line, uh, end of the white area, and then just run through. And I messed it up so we'll do it again quickly. So that should be better. There you go. So that's that. So you can smoke off connector. Um, a couple of flashes, one like that. Um, push through with like a, a couple of people to make sure that you can trade if anyone's uh, pushing up close. And then you can also have someone who's going to squeak away main just flash over for you as well. Um, just to ensure that you can blind anyone who's pushing up or covering any angles, say if they got towards the white box or something like that. Um, and by doing that you might catch off people who are pushing up trying to get towards the uh, if they want to play close mid or playing vent or something like that, then you might catch someone off like that. Um, and by smoking off this, you prevent an AWPer who's playing on this angle for being able to pick you. So to help with your mid control, um, if your AWPer spawns in this sort of front area here, then what you can do is you can quickly run out um, and take this peak towards mid, towards the white box. Come in here and just hold this angle here and maybe catch off a CT who's jumping across. Um, since a lot of teams uh, tend to have one of the A players, the, the sort of highway A player, will tend to come here, he'll s not mess up the smoke, he'll throw a smoke like that, and then he'll try and jump across like that, and you might be able to catch him off um, as he's throwing it, or time it right as the smoke pulls again, as it goes through, so that's one way to do it. Um, but obviously with that, be careful, because they might throw nades um, in towards here to prevent you from doing that sort of peak, any sort of intelligent teams would do that. So you're going to want to watch out for that. So now we're going to look at how you can take mid control through the mid round. So first of all we'll look at the wall of smokes that you can do. So that's one way you can do it. Um, the way you line those up is you come towards this corner here and you throw your smoke like that and then the other one for that is in this corner like that. So it's very simple and the smokes will land there and the point of that is to clear out Oh, to cover off the back areas so that you can clear out the close angles first and then you can move on to clearing out the further angles once the smokes uh, fade away. So it's sort of like a two step, two stage sort of thing, two step sort of approach. Um, and so this means that you don't have to use too many molotovs in clearing this out since you could just push out and trade effectively. Um, which you would probably have to, you'd probably have to use molotovs if you were just coming out and smoking off um, the deep areas, which we'll look at later. Um, so what, what you can do is just push out, have a flashbang perhaps from a teammate, um, out like this, maybe two so that if they turn from that one then you've got another one coming in that they have to turn from. Um, so you're just going to flash out and then you're just going to get two or three people just to push out and make sure that they can trade. So one will come out facing one way, one will come facing out the other way and just make sure you can trade effectively, um, get control of top mid. There shouldn't be too many people here, at most there'll probably just be one person and it will be very rare that there will be one person here. Um, so yeah, you can clear out those close angles and then once these smokes fade then you can continue to clear out the further angles. Um, so you can maybe force off anyone who's towards highway by throwing a flash like that. Since if, if you're on highway and you're trying to hold and a flash comes in you get blinded, you're just going to want to instantly get back, they're not going to hang around because there's no cover there. Um, and you can easily just peek out and kill them. So. You can clear up that area, you can smoke off the connector and push up if you want to move towards A. Um, you can molotov off the sandbags and so on to clear out the uh, the later angles. So with this wall of smokes, what it allows you to also do is do a fast B hit because you put down the smokes and players who are towards mid don't really have much vision. They can't be, uh, the CTs who are towards mid don't really have much vision. Obviously they wouldn't be get there, but they don't really have much vision towards what's going on. Um, and they can only really see this like angle here if they get into the perfect spot for it. So they can't really tell what's going on. So what you can do is you put the smokes up and you can do a fast B split. You can come up, break the vent, and then just push in through um, and split through connect uh, through the checkers and 
uh, main entrance. So now we're going to look at a more traditional mid take where you smoke off the connector, like so. Uh, you use Molotov to clear out any of the close angles and you force anyone on highway back off towards uh, A site so that they can't contest mid. Um, so first of all we'll look at the smoke for connector. So you're going to want to come towards this like tire mark on the floor here. And you want to aim your crosshair like so on this part here. And then you take your crosshair and you just aim it in the middle of this sort of rust area here. I tend to just aim it up on this bit here. So I take my crosshair there and just throw. And then see where that lands. Lands like that. So obviously that blocks off connector um, pretty much perfectly. They can't be underneath here very well unless it's literally, unless you're literally on the edge of that. Um, but what you want to be careful of is anyone jumping down and being like tricky around this smoke hiding in a weird spot like this so just watch out for something like that um, so once you've got that smoked off you can also use a couple of Molotovs so um, you can use this one where you come here and you just aim up like that with these dots so you just bring it a little tiny bit left of the dots otherwise it's going to clip the wall um, and then that will Molotov off this corner here um, also you can Molotov off the vent so what you're going to want to do is you can see the line up like this so if you see this area here, if you jump you should be able to see that from this area here, just about there, just about to see it. So you can work it out yourself, it's sort of just left of this sort of uh, chimney here, just going to want to run and throw like that, uh, a little bit low there, there we go, like that. So that'll land in the vent, like that, and then anyone who's in there is obviously going to have to fall back or push forward in towards this corner here. Um, so those are a couple of Molotovs, and then what you can also do is Molotov the sandbags once you've cleared out um, the white box. So now that we've cleared out most of these angles and most of these positions, so we've Molotoved off the vent, we've Molotoved off sandbags, and we've smoked off the connector area. We're going to look at how you clear out these close angles down here, and this, this close area from mid here, and how you clear off the, um, the white box as well. So first of all, you're going to have to deal with the white box. Um, and to do that you just want to want to have the simple pop flash like so and then have anyone who's boosted up on the, um, the oh, on the boost just to peep this angle here um, and just spot for anyone who's obviously not moved off the flash or is trying to re-peak again so you can just hold this angle um, and that allows you to then come up and then do these multi swords vent and so on um, in the sandbag sorry um, so that clears off the white box and what you're going to want to do is just keep flashing it to force anyone who's playing at white box to fall back towards the site because if they're going to keep getting flashed they're going to have to fall back because there's no cover there so hopefully you should be able to push anyone who's here back also I'd recommend for the author to peek these angles here so when you're taking the trying to take mid control if he peeks into these angles it's much easier for him to um, get a clear shot rather than a rifle um, and pick off any players that are towards the white box so once you've done that, you're going to want to clear out the close mid area, um, and that pretty much gives you full mid control, so we'll look at how you do that. So you just want to do some simple flashes and coordinated pushes. So with the flashes, it's just sort of simple things like this. It doesn't have to be anything too elaborate. Um, and just a couple of them so that they can't just turn, so that if they see one of them, they can just turn around and then still be able to fight. You're going to want to throw two or three. Um, and then the way you want to push is you want to have probably two people from lower mid and at least one person from boost so that when you push out they have to what they have to face two angles so if they're up here they're gonna have to fight there and there and then if they're down here they're gonna have to fight here and here if they're close again here and here so by doing that you can pinch them and easily trade the kill is pretty much the aim to do that so if you clear out this close area then that's pretty much giving you full mid control because you've covered off these back areas, you've smoked off connector, you've molded off the sandbag so you can push up freely towards the white box um, and you have mid control up until this point here. So now that you've got mid control you then can proceed with the rest of the round to choose you know, which site you go to so you can decide to split onto the A site or split onto the B site or you can then leave a guy um, lurking towards mid um, trying to cut off any rotates if they're trying to pull towards one of the sites, so if you plant a B, you cut off anyone who's coming towards uh, the vent area, so you can plant this white box for example. So that's why mid is so important on this map. Um, and you can also get someone into Z connector, that's a really really powerful spot for rotates, since this is the main sort of alleyway that CTs will rotate between sites. So yeah, 
I hope this video helped. Um, if you if it did, maybe leave a like, and if you enjoy my content, then perhaps subscribe for more in the future. Um, check out some of my other videos, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.